Getting started with Catalyst. Catalyst is a secure, high-performing serverless platform that helps you build world-class solutions at scale. Catalyst manages server-side components and provides functionalities like database management, cloud storage, push notifications, cron scheduler, OCR integration, web client hosting, analytics, which can be easily integrated to any application's code. Let's take a look at how you can quickly set up your local machine to start working with Catalyst. First things first, you need to set up node.js and npm for your platform to install the Catalyst command line interface and to develop node.js functions. Next, set up any IDE tool for coding the client and functions. Once you have all of this ready, we can dive into how to set up Catalyst. The first step in developing a Catalyst application is to create a Catalyst project for it. You need to log into the Catalyst console and click create a new project and enter the project's name in the pop-up window read and accept Catalyst Terms of Services and click Create. Then click on Access Project to open the project. The next step is to install Catalyst CLI to develop, test and deploy Catalyst applications from your local system. For this, open the terminal application on your Mac or Linux. If you're using Windows, you can use Command Prompt or Windows PowerShell. Now execute this command to verify if the CLI is properly installed. Now execute the command catalyst version to verify if the CLI is properly installed. Once you're done, you'll be able to access the catalyst command from your terminal. Keep in mind that if your computer throws any permission errors, you can run the command with sudo. When you run it with sudo, you will be prompted to enter the system password. On Windows, you need to run a command prompt or PowerShell with the Run as Administrator option. Next, log in from your CLI using the command Catalyst Login. You can choose the option you want, but here we will be going through the default options, that is, yes by pressing Enter. Next, select the data center using the arrow keys. Now you will be redirected to a website on your browser and you can sign into your Catalyst account using your credentials and click Accept to provide data access permissions to the CLI. You can close the browser window and continue using the CLI in your terminal. To start your project, create a directory and navigate to it. Execute the command Catalyst init from that directory to initialize a Catalyst project in it. Keep in mind that the first Catalyst project can only be created from the web console and not from the CLI. However, you can create subsequent projects directly from the CLI. Now, select the components you need to set up your Catalyst application by using the spacebar and press enter. You can initialize functions and the web client. Here, we're choosing to show initialize an advanced IO HTTP function. We will go with the node environment, but this function can also be in Java. Firstly, provide the values for the package name, the entry point file name, and the author's email address. We choose the default values here by pressing enter. Install the dependencies when prompted. Next, we initialize the client and provide a name for the client package. You can now work with the components you initialized in your Catalyst project and use any IDE tool of your choice to code the functions or web client. Next, from the directory where you have initialized the project, type code space dot. The Visual Studio Code editor will automatically open with the current directory. We have imported the project folder here and you can see that there are two subfolders, one for the client and another for the functions. We have also opened a terminal inside the code editor in order to deploy the commands faster. You can see that the web client is set up with some default files which include your index.html, main.css and main.js files for your web client. Additionally, there's also a client package.json file. Now, you can add more HTML, CSS or JS files in this directory and build your web client with powerful front-end frameworks like Angular, React, etc. Or simply with HTML, CSS and JS. Now, let's quickly change the HTML and run 
Catalyst serve to deploy this web client locally. Your web app is now running locally in your machine on localhost. Now onto the function we have created. This is an advanced IO HTTP function. These functions can handle native HTTP requests and give a custom HTTP response. You can see that there are some files already set up for you. We can open the index.js files in the functions folder. Now let's just make some changes to this file. So in this function, we're just returning an HTML file back with a HTTP success code of 200. Now let's do a catalyst serve to check if this function works well in our local machine. Remember to save the file before doing that. Now that we have tested out both our client and function, we can deploy it to the development sandbox environment with confidence using the catalyst deploy command. Once you deploy it, the URL that is generated will be publicly accessible, making it available for others to use. Catalyst advanced IO functions give you the power to send native HTTP responses and you can also send custom JSON responses through these functions. Here's how you can do it. We've added a variable called payload with our custom JSON response. Here in the index.js file in functions, we create a JavaScript object with some data on a taxi like name, coordinates of the location, an estimated arrival time. We now pass this JSON onto the response with status code 200 and the appropriate content type. We save the file and run the same command, catalyst serve, to build our code locally. In the browser, we see that our function now returns a JSON response, which can be read by any third party client. Catalyst allows you to focus on optimizing your code and getting the business logic right while it takes care of the rest for you. If you have any questions or if you need any assistance getting started with Catalyst, you can always reach out to us in the email address below. You can also check out the description of this video for some resources to get started with NPM, Code Editor and so on. Do you have the next big idea? Get started with Catalyst. <laughs>